Right, hello, welcome back. I always say that, don't I? I don't know why. You might not even be coming back. But anyway, nobody ever, or at least I've not seen anybody, show you how to put tongue and groove panelling on like a, a transporter like this. I've always seen them in like sprinters and things like that and they just clad it out with these sort of beams. But because these are such like small, narrow vans, I thought there might have been an easier way, but I can't think of it. So what I've managed to get is some like, I think it's like half inch by two inch timber. And then if you point the camera over there, Carla. Ta-da! Yeah, so I'm putting those vertical, I, I call them struts, whatever they are, vertical struts up so then I can put my cladding across. So I've been trying to figure out how to do it and I've got these 25 mil, I'll move out of the way. Is that focusing? Yep, there we go. So these are 25 mil self-tapping screws. So essentially they're meant for metal. So the idea is to put them in obviously big thick bits, like doubled up bits, not this bit so it'll go straight through the outside. So like the pillars or the columns or whatever they are, the braces. So that's what I'm doing now, but I don't like doing this because it's it's kind of like you get one chance really. You mess it up and you screw it, so I'm a little bit stressed. That's why I'm not very talkative. <laughs> stressed out Sammy. That's all right. Stressful work. There we go. So the idea now, in case you haven't figured it out, probably have. There you go like that. So now I've got my fixings, which are invisible fixings actually, but I'll show you them at a later date. But basically they go like that, all the way down. I just need some more, probably two more. That'll do for that side. Yeah. Good work. Next one I'm going to put here because between there we want to do like a recess, like only by like 50 mil, just a little bit of a recess. Maybe we can put you know, phones in there or I don't know a picture or whatever, and then with a down light, so it looks pretty cool. Bit of a design feature, so it's not just a flat wall because there's quite a big gap there. We're not just going to fill it all with insulation. So yeah, there's quite a lot of insulation going elsewhere. So yeah, why not add a bit why of why around the back, see if there's any cables or anything like that. Right, so I'm just chopping the corners off, like I've done there, at the bottom, just so it gives it a bit of fit around the curves of the van. There. Hello, little buddy. So this is like for the recess, it's on the walls, we're going to have like a, probably about that much of a recess so we can like have a shelf, maybe a down light and put a bit of a picture frame or something, make it look a bit of a, of a design picture. quirk. So that's half of it done, then the other piece. We'll go somewhere like that, we just need to measure the distance. Cool. Vogue, Frame yourself. Vogue, <laughs> vogue, vogue. So the van looks like just crap everywhere, wood, it's like a blooming Builders yard. Yeah. 
A lot of thinking involved. Always is. Now is it done? Now it's done. Let's go <laughs> check see if it fits. That can be the thumbnail. Does it fit? It's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Not bad. Yeah, I bet people don't really understand what we're doing. But... <laughs> It'll look good, trust us. Well, I'm not trusting anyone. So, part of my task is trying to decide what wallpaper to put behind the little indent in the walls, and it's very, very difficult. Which do you think? Is this kind of grey mottly type one and then there's another kind of grey bit more kind of shiny and then this one that's kind of grey beige you probably can't even tell but yeah I really can't tell which one to use and they're going up here and here and I just don't know what a little cutie Hello. Hello. So there she is. That's my recess. So that's going to go inside the wall. We were going to put wallpaper on there, but I think we're going to go with Hessian now. A bit of wallpaper. It might look a bit nicer. So now I just need to go see if this fits. Levi gun. <laughs> Let's see. Actually, I might have messed up here slightly. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, maybe I can get it. Let's have a look. Yeah, we're alright. We're alright. <laughs> it's not that it won't fit, it's just that that now is in the way. I should probably put them on last. Oh no. Do you get what I mean? So you can't position it because... Oh, wait a minute. This goes in, it might not come back out. It should do. There we go, right. That clicks at it all. Ooh. Yeah, so there it goes. It's actually really nicely fit. Ta da! That's the recess. I'm actually quite impressed with that. Mm. That wasn't an impressed face. <laughs> I'm impressed well, with Well, no, it. it's just I didn't expect it to look that good. Woohoo, comes up for that. Like so, right, isn't it? Like that comes out there like that. I'll do it then. <laughs> so this wire is for. We're gonna have a, a light. No, this one's the light. Oh. So this one's gonna have a strip light underneath. So the wood panels are gonna go across like that. So the light will be underneath, so you won't see it because the wood slat will go like that. That'll be a recess. Wood slat will go across there, and then you can put your phones on or whatever. Pictures. Will it be big enough to put a book in if it's a thinnish book? Well, it'll be whatever thickness that is. So maybe, yeah. Woohoo! So are you happy? Is it, it thumbs up or? Yeah, no, it's thumbs up. It's just. I don't know if I can get it back out to put your hessian on, but we'll see. <laughs> oh dear. We need to do the next side. There needs to be one there as well. Oh, there needs to be one there. Well. No, right. that's not bad. Happy, Sammy. All right, so this fits perfectly on that side, which is great. Now I need to make the same for this one. So I'll just eye it up and see how this one fits. We measured it to match, but I'm not a joiner, so probably don't, probably won't really. There we go. Does it fit? It's exactly the same size. Wow. I could have just made two. So now, do you wish you put four bits instead of each? Yeah. Piece? How good of a joiner am I? <laughs> As if. I just can't believe that that's the same size. Well, it's there, fit. No, I know, but I didn't measure these out perfectly. I was like, oh, it's roughly the same width between that one and that one. I didn't like... Well, clearly you've got a good eye. Oh, fantastic eye. <laughs> got two of them. 
Yeah, right, let's make another one then. I'll just copy it. Easy. <laughs> window open last night and it was the biggest storm of the century and the van got soaked so my bad so we've had to take the carpets not the carpets the front bit up and take the seats out so yeah Sam was not very happy yeah, some more screws to do but that's the gist not too bad really is it? Not too shabby eh? Right, I'll finish them off. Hey, hello everyone. So, here's my recess. So this is going to act as like a shelf. So the idea, when we put our cladding across, we're going to use that gap. Put mobile phones, books, whatever. I'll also put a strip light underneath comes out there and we're going to do the same over there so I'm just going to do that one now but yeah so far so good looks all right quite impressed <laughs> Press with that. Perfect. Jobs are good, and right, I'm gonna call it a day. See you later. So while I'm busy slaving away in the van, Carla is busy slaving away cooking. <laughs> yep. Hello, fresh. Sea bass for tea. Sea bass. Where's the sea bass? Well, sea bass. It's going to look like this. That's tonight's tea, we'll tell you whether or not it looks like that. <laughs> sure. Of course it will. Seats are out again. Bloody joy. That's what it's meant to look like. So instead of square potatoes, because I don't like square potatoes, because I'm weird, we've gone for these round flat ones. But My plate looks more... Other than for the shadow, I think you could tell that it looks almost the same. My plate looks neater. Yeah. Good work, look. Hello. So I've finished the recesses, as you can probably see, on both sides, both sides, both sides. They're now evenly, evenly installed. I don't know how I managed to make them fit perfectly, but they did. I used this one here, and when I made this, right, believe it or not, the exact template also fit on this side, which I was like gobsmacked by, because I didn't think that would work. I'm sure we've already filmed this and said this before. How good of a joiner am I? Maybe. Anyway, yeah, so made this and then I thought, all right, okay, I'll put it over, see how far I fight, see how far off I am. Bang on. So I ended up just making a duplicate copy. All the dimensions are exactly the same. So that's sweet. So all I need to do now is test these lights because I put a strip light underneath both of them. And they work. We've got a remote control. And also, you can also use an app, but you can change the colour of the lights to whatever colour you please and do other stuff with them. But yeah. They work, so that's good stuff. And then also you'll see that we've put good. some more insulation in because we're going to start doing the cladding today. 
looks a bit like Christmas, like Santa's grotto. <laughs> <laughs> it does actually. Like... Yeah, I mean, we were going to start earlier today. However, it's been the Queen's funeral. So out of respect, we didn't do anything. Sad times. Sad, Sad times. day for us all. Yeah, she was a lovely lady, but yeah, King Charles now. Anyway, enough of that. What else have I done? So I fed some more cables, didn't bother filming it because it's boring, but just to let you know what cables I've fed. So from the front, I've basically got some cable, I forgot what size cable it is, six org, don't know what that means. But anyway, cable going up to the back of the van at the top because they're going to be for our solar panels. So I've got an MPPT charger that I didn't say that I bought, but I just bought recently. So that's hopefully going to go there. So fed those cables up. Also fed some sockets for the 240 volts or 230 volt sockets, whatever they are. Fed that to this side and then there's going to be the same on this side. Yeah, just a little bit of an update on the cable in, but nothing really to write home about. It's all boring stuff. Yeah, so now we're going to start the cladding. Yeah. Yeah. See you in a bit. Right, measured and cut the first piece. I had to curve off the corner for over there and then angle this out for this bit here because it juts out a bit. Yeah, this fits, hopefully. Yeah. That goes in there like that. Perfect. Tight up against there, tight up against there. I cut my piece of wood in the first one, my first bit of cladding. Fits perfectly, so now I'm just countersinking it. I wanted to staple it or pin it, but it didn't work. They're just gonna fall off, so I have to screw them in, which sucks. So I've got to count to sink and pre-drill every single hole. They're all done. Got in beds. The play coming. So I was gonna pin them on, which you probably saw earlier on. That didn't work because they just fall off. As much as I didn't want to have to screw them, I'm gonna have to screw every single one in eight times. Whoa. I have to screw in every one eight times all the way down. <sighs> Yay, the first one in. Hey, don't get too excited. We, we got this far earlier on. Hopefully, I can fill all these in. I don't want to look half as ugly as they do now. Yeah, a lot of people fill them and then repaint it. Yeah, I guess he's got to repaint it. Yay. <laughs> We're just measuring out where we need to cut out for the recess. Pleased? Yeah, let's see if it fits. There we go. She fits. Yay. Can you write in it? Pleased with it? Yeah. 25 and 70, that's what my distances were. <laughs> right, I'm not going to film me pre drilling them again, so we'll just cut to the next bit. Let's put her in, if she fits. Cheeky boy. What are you doing? Quite impressed with that. Good. Looking all right, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Right, so I think that's enough for this week, because I'm fed up. Right, so I think we're going to end the video there, because I'm exhausted, and it's been a tough couple of weeks trying to get these things figured out. So yeah, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. If you want to follow along, see how we get on, subscribe, hit the bell, all those nice things. Leave a comment. Yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Goes without saying, not a tutorial. Definitely not a tutorial. See ya, bye.